Hey there guys, today we're taking a look at Fallout New Vegas running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now we've taken a look at this game before and we've even tried it out modded before, but I was curious to try out the DXVK API, which actually changes the API of your games from whatever it is that they're running at to Vulkan. Now you're currently looking at the game running right now with the ultra graphics settings at the stock configuration. So no mods and we're running with DirectX 9. And with the ultra settings, we do have some pretty noticeable inconsistencies in interior areas you're not really gonna have any trouble or anything like that but when you're in the open world and you're roaming around the FPS is going to fluctuate a lot and what I want you to do is pay attention to the frame times the frame times will consistently have these noticeable spikes throughout all of the experience and a lot of the times we're not even keeping a 60 FPS average now it's not at a range where I would consider this to be unplayable but considering that this game is over a decade old now this level of performance is a little disappointing to see but of course if we just install the dxvk file into the game itself we're now actually able to switch over to the vulcan api and we're going to take a look at that right now now when you first boot in with the vulcan api you might notice that the performance might not be to the level that you expect it to be this is completely normal because what happens is is that vulcan needs to load in shaders for the game and these are essentially being loaded in as you travel through the world so anytime you enter a new area you might notice that the one percent lows will take a dip but pay attention to the frame times they're going to be consistently flatter and even in those moments where things are loading in things recover significantly quicker than with DirectX 9. now interior areas are going to work exactly the same as they did with DirectX 9 where the level of performance you're going to get is for the most part going to be pretty decent but it's really after you play the game for a while say anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes that you're going to start to notice that everything is going to be performing noticeably better the game is pretty much always going to be at around 60 fps unless you're going into a new area where it needs to load things in and that's when you'll see the drops in the one percent lows but if you pay attention to the frame times it's only for essentially a split second that it happens and it quickly recovers again and the game is back to being at 60. it makes the game noticeably smoother and again if you're entering new areas you are going to have those moments where there might be a drop but these happen even with direct x9 it's just there is no recovery in the sense that you're not going to jump back up to 60 or anything Anything like that a lot of the times you're going to be in the low 50s maybe high 40s but with this we're actually able to get some really nice levels of performance and in fact it pretty much got me to just want to mod the game and so I installed a simple mod collection for it that it's just called Fallout New Vegas Remastered 2022. And it's just a collection off of the Nexus. It's not a highly rated one or anything like that. People were saying that there's a lot of incompatibility issues and stuff like that. I just went through all of those steps and I read everything that the mod creator actually ended up putting down. And there's just certain things that you need to enable and disable to get everything to be working fine. And we get some nice visual improvements here and there, mostly to textures and character models and stuff like that. But in general, it's nothing crazy. You can't use an EMB. I tried to use an ENB and the level of performance that we got was absolutely disastrous, even if we dropped things down to 720p. So you're not at that range there. But it did get me interested in maybe trying out some of the crazier visual mods that are out there. I just went with something simple just for the purposes of really testing out Vulcan on here. And in general, the level of performance that this was giving me was really, really impressive. Now, again, you'll see that anytime we load into newer areas that I haven't been into yet you'll see a slight spike in those frame times but in general it's staying completely flat and it's flatter than it was with direct x9 so this is a pretty major improvement in this game and it's very very easy to start using vulcan in this game it's literally just drag and drop a specific file in this case it's just a 32-bit version of direct x9 that you just need to replace the dll file for and you're pretty much good to go and i actually ended up playing this for a lot longer than i was really expecting to just because I was really, really impressed with the level of performance that we were getting here because before we weren't really running this at the maximum graphics settings. And it now has me thinking that we could potentially get pretty crazy with the mods. Now, again, ENBs are going to be out of the question, but there's a lot you can do with the game itself that completely ignores having to use ENBs and things like that. So if you're interested in seeing a more in-depth crazy modding with the Vulkan API, let me know down below. This was just a quick little look at this running on here. I was just really, really 
really impressed. It really has me interested in trying it out with a wide array of games because the games that were made here were pretty noticeable and it really did change the overall experience of the game. Before we really had to use the lower graphics settings just to be able to get a consistent 60 and now we're pretty much just able to max out the game and it runs perfectly fine. Again you'll see those spikes happen in those 1% lows but just pay attention to how quickly they recover and how it just goes back to being pretty much completely flat. It really is a game changer here. So I'll leave a link down below to the DXVK GitHub so you can try it out yourself. Again it's really really simple to do and it is really really impressive what it can actually end up doing here. And I might actually end up trying out GTA 4 with it to see if we can actually get GTA 4 to perform at a level that is more acceptable than what we were getting before specifically in 1% lows. But anyways I hope you found this interesting or useful or entertaining. If you did be sure to subscribe. As always if you want to support the channel memberships are enabled and you can join for as little as a dollar a month. I really appreciate you watching and sticking around for this long and I'll catch you in the next one.